Traveling is a means to success. Do subscribe travel and taste channel and like videos. For further videos stay connected. Top traditional Barbadian foods to try when you are in Barbados. Barbados is a Caribbean island. This island nation is full of beautiful beaches and gardens. It has marvelous architecture and great monuments. This place has many dramatic scenery and some of the best beaches in the world. It is an exotic place with equally exotic cuisine. It has some of the most delicious food dishes. We have mentioned the top food dishes in this video. Sorrel. This drink is made with the flowers of the sorrel plant. The flowers are boiled with cinnamon sticks, nutmeg, star anise, and whole cloves. The liquid is then strained, sweetened, and ready for drinking. This drink has none of the bitterness Marby has. It's light and fresh with the same beautiful reddish, maroon color of the flowers. Marby. Though not a food, Barbadian cuisine just can't be discussed without including this local drink. It's made by seeping the bark of the Marby tree with cinnamon sticks, cinnamon tree bark, and sometimes star anise. After boiling, the liquid is drained, sweetened, and the deed is done, ready to serve in a tall glass with ice. The slightly bitter flavor is quite reminiscent of brewed coffee only with more flowery, tea-like notes. Tamarind Balls Tamarind is a uniquely sweet yet sour fruit. It's another item you'd be hard-pressed to find outside the Caribbean. The scarce meat of the fruit and its seeds are stewed with sugar and spice until a thick paste forms. The paste and seeds are then pressed into small balls and rolled in white sugar. Tamarind balls have a bold, tangy sweetness that clings to the tongue. They might be tiny but they receive big love in Barbados. Black Bitch, yes, you read that right. Indeed. What a name. These little things are made almost exactly like sugar cakes, freshly grated coconut stewed with sugar, vanilla, and nutmeg. The difference, however, is they aren't baked and molasses is added to the recipe. They are shaped into discs and eaten as is, a sticky, gooey loveliness. The molasses not only gives a stronger, more unique taste but also gives Black Bitch its signature color. Sugar Cakes Coconut And again it's coconut. These treats can be spotted from a mile away due to their vibrant colors. Grated coconut is stewed with sugar, vanilla, and nutmeg then brightly dyed. The gooey mix is then spooned onto cookie sheets and baked for a few minutes. They harden in the oven and are ready for packaging once cool. With every bite, the spiced sugar just melts on the tongue. The coconut lends a mild flavor but it's really more to give added texture. Though most attractive to children, sugar cakes are something enjoyed regardless of age. If they were a childhood favorite, they're sure to still be an adult one. Guava Cheese This traditional candy has roots all across the world. From the Goans, Indians of Goa, to the Brazilians, Portuguese, and of course here in the Caribbean. Surprisingly enough, the recipe remains the same regardless of culture or country. The seeds are separated from the fruit and the guava meat or pulp is cooked with sugar and sometimes lime juice until a thick paste is formed. This paste is then shaped into a rectangular block then allowed to cool and firm. It takes on a silky, leathery consistency much like a very soft cheese, only much stickier. In Barbados, we usually cut the guava cheese into tiny squares which are then rolled in sugar. This candy is enjoyed in tiny portions as it is extremely sweet but one simply can't be blamed for overindulging. Bayan Turnovers Some might call turnovers the king of Bayan pastries and it just may be true. The star of the show is once again, coconut. Just like the filling for sweet bread, freshly grated coconut is sautéed with sugar, cinnamon, cloves, and vanilla then spread over a soft, freshly risen dough. This dough is basically the same as that used for cinnamon rolls, just with coconut filling. Bayan turnovers are also rolled in a similar way. 
After rolling, the turnovers are brushed with egg and butter then, fresh out of the oven, brushed a second time with sugar syrup, and dusted with even more sugar. There's almost nothing like biting into a fresh, warm turnover and enjoying the way that delicate dough falls apart, a perfect marriage to the spiced coconut filling. Just fantastic. Current Slices What a joy these are, but you definitely can't overdo it as they are quite sweet. To make them, a good heaping of currants and raisins are stewed in sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla, and sometimes rum, then wrapped in puff pastry. The pastry is brushed with egg then dusted with sugar and baked until golden brown. The amazing aroma of that baking sugar and spice will stay with you for life, it is instantly recognizable. Current slices are another local staple eaten at any time of day. Meat Rolls There are many varieties of meat rolls throughout the Caribbean. They're always a quick snack at any time of day. Ground beef or minced meat is sautéed with spices and then placed on strips of delicate puff pastry once cooled. The dough is then rolled into small cylinders and coated with egg and butter. The result is a flaky, satisfying mouthful with a spicy meat filling that keeps you coming back. A person never eats just one meat roll. Salt bread. Barjams put everything inside salt bread. Quite literally. From pizza to fish cakes, conkeys and cheese to plantain, not to mention Christmas ham as well. Salt bread is an everyday must-have for Barbadians. Water, salt, yeast, a teaspoon of sugar, and some patience? And these pillowy buns are ready to eat. Locals bake them at home or buy them in packs of 6 to 12. Every. Single. Day. Rock Cakes. These pastries are a common snack usually had with a warm cup of tea or with some marby, local drink. The dough is a rough one, more on the dry side. Flour is mixed with lard, brown sugar, raisins, cherries, and vanilla abstract then kneaded until smooth. Small rough circles are then formed and dusted with brown sugar. As the name suggests, the result is a hard, densely packed cake, lovely for snacking on. Sweet bread. All day every day, this pastry is thoroughly enjoyed in Barbados. There's no inappropriate time for good sweet bread. It's made with a simple dough, sugar, flour, lard, cherries, currants, vanilla, and of course, coconut all kneaded together with some spices until smooth. Rectangular discs are formed and freshly grated coconut, sautéed with cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla, and a bit of clove, is stuffed into the middle of the dough. A checkered pattern is etched on top and some brown sugar is sprinkled on before they hit the oven. Baking sweet bread will leave the house smelling like heaven for hours after the fact. To many Barbadians, nothing says home quite like good sweet bread. Ask Rihanna. Cassava Pone this sticky delight is a treat enjoyed all year round. It is made from fresh grated cassava, coconut, currants, and cherries all brought together into a fragrant mix filled with cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, and brown sugar. With a healthy amount of vanilla essence and a little flour and milk, the batter is quite heavy. Pone is typically placed into a large rectangular pan and then topped with a sprinkle of brown sugar and spiced coconut flakes. It is then cut into perfectly even squares of sweet, gooey joy, best enjoyed warm. Barbecue Pigtails The very same cured pigtails we use for ice and many other dishes come into play yet again. These babies are boiled, to remove most of the extra salt, then tossed onto a roaring flame to be lightly charred on the grill. They are then doused in local barbecue sauce and given one more turn on the grill before being served. You definitely can't enjoy pigtails without getting your hands dirty. The second best part is licking all the sauce off your fingers, after the actual tail of course. Chicken Pillow, Browned Down A definite household favorite comes to lunch or dinner time, chicken pillow is quite common throughout the entire Caribbean. Its unique taste comes from the browned sugar used as the base for the chicken broth the rice is cooked in. The sugar is placed in a clean pot and cooked until it turns a very dark brown, almost black. 
the chicken and salt are added and allowed to simmer. Then water, seasoning, fresh herbs, and vegetables are added. Once the flavors are well incorporated, the washed rice is added last. In about 30 minutes you have a delicious chicken pillow with tender meat and fluffy, dark rice. White rice and sea eggs. Sea urchins, or sea eggs, as they're called in the Caribbean, are quite a delicacy. They are so highly sought after, the wild populations have been heavily damaged. Fishing is now only allowed during a special open season to give the population time to recover and breed. Sea egg is typically eaten raw with just a squeeze of lemon or lightly cooked and spread over rice. It's best enjoyed extremely fresh, quite literally an hour at most out of the water. The rice for this dish is cooked simply with salt, onions, and a few herbs. The same for the sea eggs. It is lightly sautéed with onions, fresh sweet peppers, salt, and herbs. Sea eggs are extremely delicate so they are literally cooked with just the heat from the sautéed vegetables. The result is a silky, buttery delight. A perfect cap for a small mountain of rice. Jug, Jug. This is another traditional dish, this one typically enjoyed around Christmas time. It's made with a variety of peas as well as many types of meat, lamb, pork, chicken, beef, and even pigtails. The preparation varies but usually, the peas are cooked with fresh herbs and all the finely chopped, deboned meat until all the liquid evaporates and everything is moist and tender. The texture is very similar to stuffing, very soft and delicate. Jug Jug can be eaten alone or as a topping for crackers or bread. Pickled Chicken Feet Chicken feet may not be the most popular part of the animal in the rest of the world, except Chinese cooking, perhaps, but here in Barbados we simply love them. This dish is made by boiling the chicken feet, or steppers, in salt water until fully cooked. They are then served with a huge amount of fresh pickle consisting of diced cucumbers, scotch bonnet peppers, lemon juice, and an healthy pitch of salt. Zesty and satisfying, with the unique gelatinous chicken feet, it's a simple recipe but it sure packs a punch. Fish Cakes These pillowy snacks are just lovely. Made with finely shredded salt fish, flour, and select herbs, they are deep fried until golden brown. They can be enjoyed as is or with a local pepper sauce or other common ones such as sweet and sour, ranch, or even barbecue sauce. Just pile your plate up with a handful of these when they're fresh off the heat. Conkeys Another of Barbados national dishes, a conkey is a dessert made around Independence Day when we celebrate the end of slavery and the country's autonomy from its mother country, England. Conkeys are made of freshly grated pumpkin and, you guessed it, coconut. As you can tell, coconut is a well-loved staple in Barbados. The trees are a dime a dozen both in Barbados and throughout the entire Caribbean. The coconut and pumpkin are mixed with fragrant spices, vanilla, sugar, and currants, then the mix is wrapped in banana leaves. These little bundles are then steamed in a huge pot until the mixture is firm. The result is a perfectly shaped, silky pocket of spiced sweetness. Bayan Chicken Soup the base of a good bayan soup is fresh pumpkin. It can be pureed and added to salt water or it can be added whole. The pumpkin, along with your chosen chicken parts, pigtails, and quartered onions, is boiled until the meat is cooked and the vegetable completely dissolves. It is the pumpkin that gives this soup its vibrant, signature color. Yellow Split Pea Rice and Salt Fish Gravy Split peas are another tricky find outside the Caribbean and South America. They're also a staple in parts of India. The split peas are boiled with herbs and a salted pigtail. Pigtails are another Caribbean staple, also common in Chinese cuisine. The tail is dried and cured with huge amounts of salt and then packaged for sale. When brought to a boil with the peas, all that salt and pork fat is dissolved in the water, adding to the taste. Once the peas and pigtail are cooked, the rice is added to the mix to absorb all that flavor. Now the gravy. Salt fish is very similar to the pigtail, it's dried and cured the very same way. 
The gravy begins with frying up some fresh vegetables and herbs in butter. The salt fish is added to the sautéed herbs with water and brought to a boil until the gravy thickens. The finished gravy is poured over the split peas and rice and enjoyed at one's leisure. Roasted Breadfruit, Loaded Breadfruit is largely found in tropical areas with no extreme seasons. It's definitely a fruit you'll have a pretty tough time finding outside the Caribbean, South America, and West Africa. Taste and texture-wise, there is no substitute for it. It's an incredibly starchy fruit and, like its namesake, very bready, both in taste and texture. Breadfruits are roasted over an open flame with butter stuffed into the heart. The fruit is then pitted then loaded with a hearty topping of choice. Toppings vary from plain butter and pepper sauce to pulled pork, sauce, ham, and cheese, or sautéed salt fish with herbs. It's a heavy decadent meal, the kind that gives you niggeritis, as the locals call it. A heady condition where the food was so delicious it puts you into sleep mode, just ready to hit the sack after a good meal. Black Pudding and Sauce Pudding and sauce is a traditional Saturday lunch for many bargains. The sauce is essentially pickled pork and the pudding is steamed sweet potato. Traditionally sauce was made using the pig trotters, feet, ear, snout and tongue. Today, many people prefer to use lean pork meat instead. The pudding is traditionally served in a casing of pig intestines, similar to sausages, but this is optional. Every Bayan has their favorite dining spot to enjoy this delicacy, or has a pudding and sauce lady from whom they order on a weekly basis. One of our favorite spots is the village bar at Lemon Arbor. Cuckoo and Flying Fish Cuckoo is a delicious dish enjoyed in Barbados. It is prepared with okra and corn meal. The flying fish is prepared for the dish and then cooked with onion, parsley, tomato, sweet peppers, and herbs. It has a delicious taste and is an authentic recipe. Check before eat food is. Do subscribe travel and taste channel and like videos. For further videos stay connected.